Alrighty, welcome back to Hunting Jesse James. Quest of the Giant J reveals new files and evidence on outlaw Jesse James. Most people don't know that Jesse Woodson James was actually an army colonel who never surrendered at the end of the Civil War. He continued to fight on all the way up until 1882 when he faked his death. But between 1861 and 1882, he robbed more trains and banks than anybody in American history. He rose to become the field commander for the KGC, the Knights of the Golden Circle, a secret spy division of the Confederate Army. With over 200,000 Blood Oath members, the KGC was larger than the NSA, the CIA, and the FBI combined. Jesse James had a massive network of spies sending him information on a daily basis. He knew where the gold was, where it was going, and how it was getting there. Well, after amassing a massive amount of wealth over uh, several decades, Jesse James, you know, he decided, well, uh, I think we need our own bank. So he started digging tunnels. He removed 33 miles of debris out the back door of his cousin's bar on Madison Street at nighttime in Chicago. And uh, nobody even knew they were there. He connected all the banks underground to the Federal Reserve located on Jackson and LaSalle. And folks, that there is legendary history. 